Sigmund Freud did a lot of case studies. He is most famous for using um, singular stories, detailed accounts of one person's experience of a psychological event, and then using that event as support for one of his theories, uh, such as the Electra Complex, the Oedipus Complex, or support for his um, ideas about the ego and the conscious and the subconscious. So we often did these very detailed accounts of personal stories, um, but didn't actually induce any therapeutic uh, treatment um, or very little therapeutic treatment. It was really about figuring out what the source of having a phobia or depression or anxiety was um, and uh, for support of his theories. And an excellent example of that is uh, Little Hans, and I'll, I'll link a, 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 a page to that story of Little Hans um, on this video so that you can check that out as a, a classic example of what a case study is. So a case study is a very detailed account of one person's story, and you can get a lot of information from these, and you can get um, more personal information. And um, this may provide excellent support if you have a psychological theory that you're trying to um, purport out there and find evidence and support for. Um, however, there may be some observer bias involved, especially if you're trying to find evidence to support your theory. You may um, not really be measuring things that are um, unbiased from your point of view that you already have. So assumptions that you've already made may impact the way that you read into um, the subject's behavior. Um, other problems can be that this, these aren't generalizable. You're taking one person's information and trying to weave it, um, trying to give it support to your theory, but that may be inappropriate. It may be more appropriate to take more examples to come up with um, a theory after taking um, measures from a variety of sources. Um, but still, this is a very classic method for clinical research in psychology um, made most famous by Sigmund Freud.